The world as we know it heavily relies on technology and software. But what happens when there is a bug in the system? Well, unlike a glitch in the matrix, it can cost a lot of money. I'm Chopped Porks, and today we'll be counting down the top 10 most disastrous programming bugs in history. Number 10. So, chances are you have a phone. And whether you do or not, you've probably heard of the popular carrier, AT&T. And while it is a successful company now, they could have lost it all on January 15, 1990, when they opted to upgrade to a more complex software than their current in hopes to improve long-distance calling. Well, obviously, this backfired. What transpired over the next nine hours was a businessman's nightmare. 75 million missed phone calls, an estimated 200,000 airline reservations canceled, and a loss of $60 million in long-distance charges were missed. All this madness was due to the fact that, with the new software, came the orders to push messages to the switching centers a lot faster than normal. The switching centers handled the calls and carried them out. So when receiving a call faster than it was prepared for, it sent a signal to the next switch which began to reset itself. And like dominoes, that switch sent a signal to the next switch, and that switch to another, eventually leaving every switch constantly resetting. Without switches to handle the incoming calls, AT&T services were left unavailable. Surprisingly, the company was not hindered as you might think, and still stands strong today. Number 9. The year is 1962. The news has been hyping up the Mariner 1 launch. It is going to be an epic feat in the space age. You sit on the edge of your seat, gritting your teeth as the unmanned ship is seconds away from takeoff. Then, liftoff. For a whole four minutes, you are filled with glee as you see the extent of human knowledge. And then, <laughs> the screen is flooded with a ravaged piece of metal in the sky and the gleaming flare of failure. Don't worry, though. There were no casualties, as it was unmanned. Only $135 million down the drain. But how did this come to be, you ask? Well, the order to self-destruct was issued by a range safety officer only six seconds before separation because the craft had not responded correctly to certain commands. But contrary to popular belief, the mistake which triggered the unstable result was due to a missing overbar in a mathematical equation instead of being a missing hyphen. This confusion is likely due to the misleading title of an article labeled the most expensive hyphen in history. But the story doesn't end tragically, however, because five weeks later, Mariner 2 was launched and successfully completed the original task of flying by Venus. Number 8. Sent to space on December 11th, 1998, the Mars Climate Orbiter was meant to study Martian atmosphere and climate temperatures. The probe stayed afloat until September 23, 1999, when the probe was planned for stable entry into Mars's orbit when suddenly, communication was cut 49 seconds before expected. The communication was forever lost and the probe was never found. But the probe cost $327 million to make, so what force is great enough to throw that money away? Well, a simple line of code is the answer. The line at fault is the part where it calculates a safe position for the probe to enter the atmosphere. But the line of code that measured this produced results in United States customary units instead of metric units. The use of two different types of measurements conflicted with each other and caused the probe to either crash or spin out of control. This didn't stop us though, because as I'm sure you know, we recently discovered flowing water on Mars's surface. Number 7. It was an average day at the stock markets for Knight's Capital on August 1st, 2012. Knight had just released untested software into production, which held an obsolete function. And when a technician forgot to copy the new code to one of the eight computer servers, it triggered a repurpose flag that activated a function known as PowerPeg. This would make stocks move up and down in an attempt to verify the trading algorithm's pattern, which in turn greatly lowered the stock price of nearly 150 companies, bringing stocks of $20 down to 5 or $8. As you can imagine, this sent Knight's stock spiraling, first plunging 33%, and by the next day, Knight had lost 75% of their equity value. In the end, Knight lost a total of $440 million. Amazingly, this did not drive them bankrupt, but in 2013, they were bought by GitGo LLC. Number 6. Many computers run on Intel technology. Intel is especially known for its good line of processors, 
But in 1994, their reputation was put on the line when a professor of mathematics, Thomas Nicely, discovered a bug that affected the floating point unit of the original Pentium processors. The bug in question would cause numbers to return incorrect results past the third decimal point. This bug was not found in every processor, but it was not only a few that had it. As you can tell, this caused quite a big problem for people using it for fields in math and science. Many angry customers would demand a replacement, and Intel agreed, on the condition that they had to prove their computer had the bug. In the end, it cost Intel $475 million in total. This did not affect them in the long run, however, as Intel stands strong today as one of the leading providers of PC parts. Number 6. Made by Atomic Energy of Canada Limited, or AECL for short, the Theric 25 was a machine for radiation therapy. The design flaw of this machine was so great that I find it hard to believe that nobody foresaw this beforehand. To start, there were only two modes of radiation therapy. Direct electron beam, which consists of a low dose of 5 electron volts, and a megavolt x-ray mode, which along with sounding like a villain's secret weapon, delivered an x-ray beam mixed with a 25 electron volt beam to the target. As you can tell, there is a drastic difference in radiation. The fatal bug in the software caused a megavolt to be released, even when an electron beam was chosen. This bug would lead to six deaths amongst the patients there. However, keep in mind that this happened in 1985, so there is nothing to be afraid of now. Number four. In the last one, I said there is nothing to be afraid of now, and that may be the case. But in 2000, 15 years after the Theric 25 incident, a Cobalt 60 machine in Panama's National Cancer Institute was also experiencing difficulties. The machine was very expensive and the bill drove upwards of $10,000. Because of this, the Cobalt 60 grew old and was barely used. But when it was used for radiation therapy, it caused 24 deaths by overdose. The program worked by drawing digital blocks that would symbolize a point of the body that needed to be radiated. The amount of radiation to be applied would be calculated from there. But because the software only allowed four blocks to be drawn, if the doctors needed a fifth block, it would not be allowed. So the doctors decided to draw all five blocks under the same tag, which made the machine think it was only one block. This led to a miscalculation of the radiation needed, so the patients ended up getting more than they bargained for. Now this is less of a software error and more of a human error, but according to the staff, the instructions listed absolutely no directions for how to draw the blocks but a patch was issued by Multidata that addressed the situation and thus treating it as if it were a software bug. A very, very dangerous software bug. Number three. So far we've discussed mistakes in software for companies and space exploration, but when a mistake is made in a military operation, it risks the lives of many. Unfortunately, this was the case on February 22, 1991, when an MIM Patriot failed to detonate an incoming Iraqi missile which led to the death of 28 soldiers and injury of 98. The Patriot is an anti-air missile system that works by launching an interceptor missile at an incoming missile, so that it detonates before reaching the troops. The Patriot ran a good record up until this incident and had a success rate of 95%, but after this and a few more failures, it was scaled back to a 79%. This sparked an investigation that led to the discovery of a software error that affected the Patriot's use of timestamps. Apparently, the Patriot's battery had been in use for 100 hours, and because of this, the clock had shifted by one-thirds of a second, which in turn caused a problem in converting radar pulses to floating points. When compared, the Patriot would look in the wrong part of the sky and attempt an interception, but ultimately led to a missed distance of 600 meters. But as the investigation figured this all out, it also fixed it and the troops can rest safe at night knowing that they have a patriot protecting them. Number two. Many people rely on child support to pay the bills. So when EDS, or Electronic Data Systems, made an advanced and overly complicated payment program for the UK Child Support Agency, there could be no room for error. But at the time of implementation, the DWP decided to reconstruct the entire agency. This resulted in a conflict between the two as they were both incompatible. This set a particularly unfortunate series of events that ended in overpaying 1.9 million people, underpaying 700,000, accumulating $7 billion in uncollected child support payments, and a delay in 239,000 cases. That ultimately cost the UK taxpayers $1 billion to date. 
It doesn't end there either, as it caused problems which would lead to the child support agency's head, Doug Smith, to resign. And this wasn't the first time EDS had gotten into trouble, but being bought out by HP probably did them a favor. Number one. And finally, to the top of the list with one of the most expensive software mistakes in history is the Ariane 5 explosion. The Ariane 5 was a rocket that took the European Space Agency 10 years and $7 billion to create. The rocket was intended to hurl three-ton satellites into orbit with each launch. That would, if accomplished, give Europe a supremacy in the space business. But it only took 40 seconds for the rocket to explode and create the most time-consuming way to waste $7 billion. Perhaps even more comical is the bug that triggered the explosion. The culprit being a line of code that tried to fit a 64-bit number into a 16-bit space. As far as we know, the rest of the code was perfect. But this simple memory allocation line laid waste to $7 billion in 10 years of time. According to James Gleick, the programmer's thought process while writing this was that the number would never exceed a 64-bit number. But the Ariane 5 was a lot faster than their previous Ariane 4, which was what they based their numbers off of. Fortunately, the craft was unmanned and no one was hurt in the process. Hey there, thanks for tuning in. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more. And comment down below and tell me what I missed or how I'm doing. Either way, good luck in your endeavors.